Hello, hello. So recently I ran across in, in the Gurney's catalog this, it's called a burnished windowsill tray. Very long, 36 inches long, very shallow, very narrow, perfect for sitting on a windowsill. And you're supposed to put like little pots on there, you could grow seeds on it. And I ordered it and I, in my mind, I saw this whole arrangement for the table where I was going to plant succulents in it. And because it's so skinny, it was only gonna be like, you know, maybe two succulents deep, often just one. So very, very narrow, but long. So this striking display of succulents going down the table. And I ordered the succulents from Leaf and Clay and the tray from Gurney's will not be sent until like March. So I contacted them. It doesn't sound like I can rush it. And so now I'm back to square one and I'm trying to think, okay, well, what am I going to do? I really did not want a round succulent display. I really wanted this, you know, I would have held off ordering the succulents if I had known the tray wasn't coming. The leaf and clay, I got the box. Um, it was interesting. I had my shopping cart filled up for a few days because I really wanted to take my time getting to know the plants before I committed. I had a budget, I had a coupon, and they reached out and they said, hey, noticed you're looking around, wanted to see if you wanted to you know, chat about anything you're getting, how can we help you? And I was like, oh, that's cool. So I did hit reply and I was like, hey, this is the project I'm working on. I've got this tray coming, you know, what do you, what do you think? Was that too big of an ask? I don't know. So I just, I just sent it, never heard back from them. So that was a little disappointing. I was kind of bummed because the email was so sweet and like, it was very inviting. So I uh, got the package. Everything comes wrapped in tissue paper. Nothing is labeled. So that was a tricky part of it is figuring out what was what, because not everything looks like the picture on the website. So it took quite a bit of investigative work to figure that out. I think I got it mostly right. There's a couple of the sedums that I'm just not sure about right now. Everything comes dry and it comes dry on purpose because they don't want the roots to rot or freeze in the boxes. So nothing looks great. Nothing is like terribly vibrant the the sedum's okay um some things are very squished those will hopefully pop back one thing was so dry it was unrecognizable so i put that in some very wet cactus soil to see if i could get that to rehydrate um one plant came completely destroyed all the petals completely off i believe that was the bear paw um and then one of the echeveria is just doesn't look great. So I'm going to take the sur I'm going to take the edges around it off and just kind of keep that middle and the middle looks good. So I think that that's okay. So there were three plants total out of 20 or 21 that were a little questionable. I think that's pretty good. Um, I will write to the company. I'll tell them about the bear pod. The other two I think are going to be okay, but I'm going to give it a couple days. So it's kind of back to the drawing board. What do I want to do with these? I went to Goodwill and I got a ton of just cute little ceramic-y things, tiny pots, uh, baskets. I thought maybe I'll do that. I feel like I should go look one more time to see if I can find anything that might be that long skinny shape. So it's kind of a to be continued thing, but you know, I was thinking about what I wanted to do on my table because we really have a pretty long gap here where we've gone from New Year's and we're gonna kind of stretch through till Easter would be probably the next thing that I might decorate for with some forsythia, some forced blooms, things like that, some eggs. Um, so it's a significant amount of time and I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. And just when I saw that tray, it just immediately popped into my head, succulents, get the succulents in here. Um, so we'll see, but I am excited to have the succulents. I am excited to, and there's, um, there are some cactus in the succulent 
uh, selection. All right, so when you get these cactuses and succulents in the mail and they are just wrapped in paper, most of the dirt has been removed from the roots, which is what you want. You would kind of do that if you bought these from a, from a store, like a big box store. You're gonna take that dirt off and repot it. Now this has been repotted, but you can see that there's a lot of dirt and stuff that kind of got caught up in there. So this is why you're gonna need a paintbrush and you are just going to be as delicate as possible. And some of these, it's gonna take longer than others to work out the dirt. This one's pretty easy. And if there's like perlite and stuff, it just kind of gets caught in there. So this one won't be too bad at all. And then here's another one. A lot of stuff caught. Just use your paintbrush. What I ended up doing is putting each cactus, there's still a couple that I need to pot, each cactus in its own pot and clean them off with the paintbrush and then just popped the plastic pot into a beautiful bowl or ceramic. That one was from the Goodwill find. This was a basket I had laying around. This is a really beautiful, metal bowl and I just group them together up here this is waiting for a, a nice tall plant to go in there this is waiting to hang on the wall and I love it I think that just came out really beautiful so sometimes when you have something in mind then it doesn't work out you gotta find a little flexibility and do something else. And I don't even mind seeing the plastic pots. Normally I do. Normally I do not like to see the plastic pots, but because this display here, one, is probably temporary, but two, it's all the same. It's so mix-matched, and yet the thing that pulls it all together is that everything is in this black pot with a cactus. I don't know, I don't mind it. Really beautiful. This is another Goodwill planter. It actually has a design on it that I didn't like, but it's a perfect off-white color for this space. And so this one gets to live on its own in here. These are the remaining succulents. There are two more cactuses. I think, I don't think this one is considered a cactus, but it might, might actually be. So there might be three cactus. So a cactus is a succulent, but not every succulent is a cactus. A beautiful jade. So what I did is I just took two ceramics and they do not have drainage. This is very temporary. And I just wanted to make sure I knew what everything was, so I popped them in some cactus soil, put them really nice and close together, and uh, and just put their tags in, and then gave them some water. And this will be very temporary until I figure out what's next for these guys. I have this bear paw, the one that fell apart, and I just took each individual leaf and I laid it in some cactus soil, and I'm not gonna water this for a few days. This is gonna dry out. You want all these tips to be nice and dry, and then I'll give it some water. You saw that I used some tongs for holding cactus and a paintbrush. The other thing that you can use is a bottle for watering like this, and that way, 
when you're trying to get in between the leaves of the succulents, you won't be, um, you'll just have this really fine little way to do that. So I'm not gonna water uh, the actual leaf. I'm just gonna water it like that. So I'm not gonna put a lot in right now because I still want this to dry out. So this just goes right in between. It's so tiny and delicate. You don't want to overwater, and normally, you know, I would have this in the sink draining, but this pot does not have drainage, as I said. So we'll wait for its real home until we put too much water in. Just little bits in between. This was really inexpensive, but a great tool. There are two plants that I identified out of 21 that need some, like don't need the, the brighter sun. So I probably will be potting those up separately and most likely they're gonna go in the bathroom, which we are doing a makeover of, which I cannot wait to share with you. We're just waiting for the toilet paper uh, hook, whatever you call it. It's just the toilet paper's just gonna go on the hook. Uh, but we are waiting for that and then we're going to finish hanging everything up. There's one project I'm going to do, which is a picture frame that I showed you in the video of the five top categories for thrifting. And I am going to put a vintage wallpaper inside of that frame. So that should be fun. I will do a video of that and, and then we'll have a, a pretty cool before and after of the bathroom. It is going to be quite... The bathroom I'm excited about it so for now I um, you know this is a little bit of a glimpse into leaf and clay for you if you are interested in ordering succulents this is not uh, sponsored or anything like that I just was interested in the company heard about them heard they might be a good source um, I have not had good luck ordering succulents from big box or buying succulents at big box stores Home Depot Lowe's things like that they tend to be rotting Always, I know. I think they just water them too much, um, and don't give them a great start or something. Maybe they come diseased. But we've we have not had great luck. The cactuses, not so bad, but just the sort of straight succulents, the sedums, um, echeverias, things like that. Not such great luck. As always, thank you for being here. I appreciate you.